Recently, I received a very interesting question from one of my training participants, and I wanted to share my perspective on it with you. The question was, what's the role of a Scrum Master in DevOps? So this person said, she, you know, she was a Scrum Master in a regular, like, agile team, but moving towards DevOps, how would her work change? Is there, like, is there something like a DevOps master? Okay, so here's my thinking on this. Uh, you know, in a, in a regular Scrum team, you have a bunch of team members, and one of them will be the Scrum master. What's the Scrum master's purpose or the Scrum master's role within Scrum? The Scrum guide says that the, uh, the Scrum master is the guardian of the process. They are supposed to support the team, um, help them make the most of the Scrum process, really hone it, iterate on it, improve it, make it their own. Okay, fine. Now, what happens if we move from quote unquote only agile to DevOps? I know it's a silly way to say it, but just for the sake of argument, let's let's say only agile. Now, we know that um, an agile team is supposed to be cross-functional. It contains all of the different roles that are necessary to provide value to the user, to the customer. And DevOps, in a sense, just makes this cross-functionality even, even crosser. So you sort of implicitly, an agile team, at least to me, always seemed to be a bit centered around development. So there were maybe developers in here, testers in here, in your, in your agile team. But now you've added more concerns. You've added maybe operations people, you've added SRE persons, um, customer service pe persons, perhaps, um, you know, everything you need in order to really fulfill that promise of delivering value. And perhaps you're even, you know, improving the work you do upstream. There has always been the role of a product owner, but maybe now the product has become broader, more powerful, and, and correspondingly, maybe uh, the role of a product owner has become broader and more challenging. So, in a sense, the Scrum Master has always been the guardian also of feedback loops, because, of course, a lot of the things that, uh, that are part of Scrum are feedback loops. But now we've got more feedback loops. They used to be, quote-unquote, tiny. They've gone so much bigger and bigger yet and bigger still and more numerous and more powerful and more varied in their nature and in their duration and then the things that they encompass. And I think that is how the role of a Scrum Master changes as you're moving to a DevOps model. The, the aspect of the role of being the guardians of the feedback loops becomes much more powerful and much more important. They should ask their team, okay, if we are setting up a new kind of automation, for instance, how does that apply not just in the forward direction, in the direction towards the customer, how do we also apply it to the backwards direction, to the feedback direction? And I think in that sense, Scrum Masters have become extremely important, extremely powerful as, as I said, the, the guardians of the process, you know, that there's, there's this infinity uh, figure drawing that is is often um, used to, to express DevOps ideas. And I think that this is one of the core aspects of being a Scrum Master in a DevOps team, ensuring that those feedback loops run smoothly and that they really transport as much knowledge, as much information, as much usefulness, as much value as you can possibly make them transport. So um, in a DevOps context, of course, a Scrum Master still has a very valid place. And dare I say, the role has become even more interesting and even more challenging and even more 
necessary for the team. So that's my perspective on the role of a Scrum Master in DevOps.